Hello, my name is Brian Chick. If you haven't met me, I'm the MCC Blackboard coordinator, and one of the things I do here is assist faculty with difficulties in Blackboard. That could be navigational or technical or whatever. Uh, my office is located in the Learning Commons, or you can contact me by email or phone. I'd also like to mention the 24-7 support portal. There's a link directly within your courses uh, or on your Blackboard homepage, and that link takes you to 24-7 um, chat and 24-7 email and 24-7 phone. Now, what's new in this Blackboard shell? Well, there are five new videos. You're watching one of them, an intro video for you guys, faculty. And there's an intro video for uh, students. And I have a navigational video, kind of a tour of Blackboard for students, and one for faculty. And I also have a module construction video, which assists faculty in putting their courses together with assignments in the Learning Modules tab. Now, um, another thing that's new is in the menu, the left sidebar menu in your courses, you'll see a tab for final course evaluation. It will come to you unavailable for students. I'll remind you toward the end of the term to make it available and it will produce, uh, it will create unfettered, I say unfettered access for your students to the course eval and that's kind of an important thing. Um, the other thing is the Blackboard quiz. It does not count anymore so you will see a column in your grade center if you want it to count towards the final grade, select Edit the Test Options, scroll down to Self-Assessment Options, and select Include this test in Grade Center Score Calculations. So, uh, but regardless of whether it counts or not, it's a nice assessment, particularly in online classes, for the instructor assessing uh, the student's Blackboard ability. Additionally, in online classes, it can be used as an attendance taker. So, uh, yeah, if you need any uh, assistance in Blackboard, please feel free to contact me, and uh, uh, good luck with your classes.